regardless of how one feels about the policies and political views of Donald Trump, it has become increasingly difficult not to be concerned by the president's erratic and impulsive behavior. Whether one is Republican or Democrat, liberal or conservative, the president's mental state should worry every sane person in America. Last week Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee, apparently one of the few sane Republicans left in Washington, captured the general mood when he responded to the president's tweet storm from earlier that day about Corker's decision not to seek re-election It's a shame the White House has become an adult daycare center. Someone obviously missed their shift this morning. In an interview with the New York Times shortly thereafter, Corker offered a blistering critique of the president, saying that Trump was treating his office like a reality show, and that his reckless tweets could set the nation on the path to World War III. He concerns me, Corker went on. He would have to concern anyone who cares about our nation. I know for a fact that every single day at the White House, it's a situation of trying to contain him, Corker continued, painting a frightening picture of the increasingly unstable president, whose mental health is now a real cause for concern. A few days after Corker's interview, Vanity Fair's Gabriel Sherman painted an even more terrifying picture in an article documenting the president's mood swings. According to people close to the president, who spoke to Sherman off the record, Trump is unstable, losing a step, and unraveling. In recent days, Sherman writes, I spoke with a half dozen prominent, 